So the rather angry rap spoken word thing by Destabilizer in the last episode got me thinking about some topics in the keyboard community that can get people quite heated. When you see keyboards and the space bar is flipped, it can really confuse some people. A flipped space bar is oriented so that your thumb will hit the flat part of the key rather than potentially hitting the corner. It makes a real difference to some people while others find it baffling. You should try it out. The F and the J keys on your keyboard usually have some way of finding them without looking at the keyboard. If you look at any interest check, you'll see people asking for certain types of homing keys. Some people will refuse to buy a set if it doesn't include their preference. This is understandable when you consider that getting used to one kind of homing method and then having to switch to another can make your typing speed really go down. I like bars, but I can deal with scoops just fine. RGB is one that has really divided people in the past few years as boards with colourful lights have become more popular among mainstream brands as well as custom boards. Many people hate what they see as pointless and even distracting decorations that complicate the design and build process and increase costs. I can take it or leave it as you can turn them off any time you like, but sometimes it's nice to look at pretty lights. Artisan keys are a really hot subculture of this subculture. The amazing detail and imagination that designers come up with now is really impressive and limited numbers and availability mean that they're pretty expensive, sometimes really expensive. Flipping these keys for large profits has become a really controversial issue, as has the appearance of fake artisan keycaps. How many artisans are too much on one board? Is it worth the cost considering that they actually make typing less comfortable? I'm not really into collecting artisans as I spend enough money on other parts of this hobby as it is. Plastic preference is a pretty personal point. Proper performance can play a pivotal role in precise pineapple pen. ABS and PBT are the most common types of plastic used for keycaps. While PBT caps don't develop shine or yellow like ABS does over time, some people still spend money on GMK keycaps that use ABS plastic, probably because of the overall quality of the keycaps. Perhaps it's purely personal preference. So even though I'm not going to get as angry as Destabilizer, I can understand that his views are shared by a lot of people. Uh, I think we just need to keep things in perspective and remember that it's okay if people like different things. I don't know what I'll do if he sends me another video. I just hope he mellows out a bit. Bye-bye.